All right. So Google just went ahead and launched a new AI-powered IDE similar to Cursor, and it's called Google Anti Gravity. And the even cooler thing here is that Google just launched their Gemini 3 Pro AI model, and now you can use both Anti Gravity and Gemini 3 Pro completely for free. And I believe it's for a limited time. So if you want to make use of it, just go ahead and download Anti Gravity now, and you can start using it. And today in this video, we're going to take Anti Gravity for a spin. And let's see how it is and also how to use the software and again i've been hearing a lot of good things about the gemini 3 pro a model and how good it is when it comes to let's say designing the ui or the front end part of an app so we will test all of that in today's video so let's quickly get started so here i have opened up the anti gravity website and the domain is antigravity.google so you can click the link in the description below or head over to antigravity.google and you can download it for mac os and windows so in this case i have already downloaded and opened it up so I'll just open it up right away. So there you go. This right here is Google's Andy Gravity. And the thing is that it is actually a ID very similar to Cursor. And again, this right here is like a VS Code fork. And I don't know if you remember it correctly, but a couple of months ago, Google just hired a lot of team members, including the founding members, I believe, of Windsurf. And they are the guys behind this particular Andy Gravity ID, by the way. So just as to show everything, I'll quickly go ahead and open a folder. All right, so you have all that VS Code stuff in here. So basically it is a VS Code fork. And when you open Andy Gravity for the first time, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And again, to use Andy Gravity, you primarily have like two options or two different ways. So the first one is this interface right here where you will be coding along with the agent. And similar to Cursor, you can give a prompt and you know ask the AI to do stuff, right? And the next interesting way is that towards the top, you can find an option that says Open Agent Manager. And if I click on the same, it opens up this interface right here. And the idea of Agent Manager is that you'll be able to spin up multiple sub agents to tackle a specific problem and they can independently run in the background while you're busy doing something else. For example, let's say I want to spin up three different AI agents. Well, I can do that in here. And again, every time the AI agent is done implementing whatever stuff it was doing, it will also give you a notification in the inbox right here. I'll show all of that in today's video. But in which ways, first of all, we'll start with, let's say, a basic usage, right? So towards the right side, you have the option to open the agent panel. And as you can see, it says ask anything. Again, pretty similar to the workflow that we have in, let's say, Tray, Cursor, or even Binsurf for that matter. And now all you have to do is to explain your prompt in here. And as you can see, if I click on this drop down menu right here, I can select the model. And the even cooler thing is that you can even use Claude Sonnet 4.5. Okay, you have models from Anthropic in here. But since we are interested in Gemini, I'll keep it as Gemini 3 Pro High. And by the way, it's completely free for you to use right now. So you can just click the link in the description below, download Anti Gravity now, and you can experience both Anti Gravity and Google Gemini 3 Pro completely for free. And since a lot of people have been telling that uh, Gemini 3 Pro is extremely good at when it comes to, let's say, creating landing pages, UI, app designs, and all that, first of all, why not try it, right? So I can go ahead and give a prompt. I'm creating a web scraping and crawling website similar to Firecrawl, and I want you to create a sleek and modern looking landing page for my uh, platform. And the name is going to be iScroll. So what I want you to do is that I want you to design a sleek landing page with a nice hero section, nice animations, nice UI elements. And yeah, just take it up from there. So this right here is the prompt I'll begin with. And if I click on this drop down menu right here, I'll be able to select between planning mode and fast mode, which is pretty similar to what we have in cursor, by the way. So if you want to plan along with the AI before implementation, you can select the planning mode. Or if you want the AI to directly implement, then you can click on the fast mode. But in this case, I'll keep it in the planning mode and I'll click on send. Okay, so Gemini has started the thinking process and it will create a new task.md file. And as you can see here, the AI has went ahead and mapped out all the to-do items or plan. So first of all, it is project exploration and setup. So explore existing project structure, install the packages, configure Tailwind and post CSS. Okay, design implementation, create a bunch of different components like button, navbar, hero features and footer, then assemble the page together. And also finally we have a verification process as well. And again, if you are not satisfied with the plan that the AI has, or if you want to make any sort of changes, well, towards the right side, you can find a section that says comment on this line. You can click on that and leave a comment. And when the AI is implementing the same, it will go ahead and make sure it keeps track of your comment as well. And if you go to the implementation plan, you'll be able to find an in-depth plan of what the AI is trying to implement. So proposed changes. So it will install Framer Motion, Lucid React, a couple of packages, 
modify the globals.css file so you can get a, like a high level overview of what exactly the AI is planning to do. So in this case, we asked it to create a landing page. So it is creating a lot of these components and assembling it together. And the AI has started working on the same already. Okay, so I can find that it is installing a lot of packages and making a lot of changes. So what I'll do is I'll wait for some time and let's wait for the AI to complete and we will take a look at the output together. And before we continue further, let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video, TestBright. Manual testing is slow, expensive and error prone. And most of the teams spend 40% of their time just writing test cases. So meet TestBright, the world's first fully autonomous AI software testing agent. So imagine automating your entire testing process from generating test cases and writing code to executing tests, diagnosing issues and even suggesting fixes all with minimal effort. It automatically generates the test code run front-end and back-end test, debug issues, and delivers detailed report, cutting testing cost by up to 90%. To get started, you can either use the TestSprite's web interface or the MCP tool in your IDE like Cursor or Anti-Gravity. Just sign up on TestSprite.com by clicking the link in the description below and add TestSprite MCP to Cursor or Anti-Gravity. Now just ask the AI to run a full test using TestSprite. Within minutes, it will now complete a full backend or frontend test and shows you the complete results. And the best part, TestSprite suggests fixes so that Cursor or Anti-Gravity or whatever AI agent you're using can itself fix the problem without you having to do anything. You can even schedule test on TestSprite's web interface so that it will automatically run tests for you and send the complete report to your email. So make sure to click the link in the description below and visit TestSprite.com to check out the ultimate AI powered testing agent in action. Now back to the video. All right, so the AI is done implementing the landing page that we asked for and it even verified by building the project and seems like pretty much everything worked. And now to accept the changes, all I have to do is to click on this accept all button. And again, you also have the option to review all the files that the AI has created as well. And now yet another cool thing is that towards the top right, you can find a Chrome icon. And what exactly does that do you ask? Well, if you click on this open browser uh, section right there, it opens up a full-fledged Chrome browser that you can use to let's say test your application and move it around and you can just go ahead and start using it right away and as I can see it has done implementing the same all right so I'll quickly go ahead and let's say open terminal pnpm run dev and now let's just try to open it up okay so turn any website into structured data okay this is a nice element we have animations in here hmm it's pretty basic right i mean nothing fancy about it okay so this right here is the landing page that the ai has created for us all right maybe i can also try it to create a dashboard right so maybe what i'll do is i'll close all of this and next step what i'll do is I'll click on this option that says open agent manager and this right here is the agent manager and here i have the landing workspace selected so start a new conversation and basically the idea is that you can go ahead and give Andy Gravity a prompt and that's it. You just hit enter and you can leave it in the background and the AI agent will keep working on the same and do whatever stuff that you asked for. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and give a prompt, something like this. Can you design a sleek and modern looking financial dashboard with dark theme, nice colors and gradients, charts, graphs and uh, everything else in the slash dashboard route? Okay, so I just want it to create a financial dashboard. All of that looks good. And all I have to do is to click on this send button right here. And as you can see, the same is in progress. And right now the AI is working on the same. And now I can maybe click on the start uh, conversation option again. And now I can go ahead and spin up a new agent. So this time around, let's say I want a image converter website. Well, I can go ahead and say, can you please create a image converter app within our website? So basically the app should be at slash image hyphen converter root and the user should be able to upload an image and select a format and download it in the target output format. Make sure to give the app or let's say the image converter a really sleek and modern look. Okay, so that looks good. Root and I'll click on send. And as you can see, right now we have like two different agents working on two different tasks but on the same project. And if you want to, you can actually go ahead and open a new workspace, like a completely different one, and you can have it opened up in here. And then you can go ahead and give prompt and spin up AI agents for doing specific tasks within other projects as well. So not only can you spin up AI agents to work on the same project, but also on different projects or workspaces. So that's also one option that you have. So right now, as you can see, it is working on the financial dashboard. 
okay all right so it has created an implementation plan and it has started installing the dependencies making changes to the code all right the agent is running terminal commands okay installing a couple of packages i believe let's see and if i go to the other one that is image converter the implementation is in progress in here as well and again another cool thing is that andy gravity has google nano banana integration too so along the way if you want to let's say generate some images and then implement or let's say add it to your website well andy gravity is capable enough to do it so you can simply go ahead and say create an image and add it in the let's say hero section the navigation bar or whatever you wanted to you can just go ahead and give prompts and the AI will do it maybe i'll show that later but this is all the code that the ai is writing and this right here is the slash dashboard page okay and once everything is done you will find a notification in this inbox section right here uh in which case let's wait and since i have enabled the following mode i can see what exactly the agent is working on right now so installing all these packages running the build and verifying the implementation seems like everything is done and once done you can click on this review changes button towards the top right and you'll be able to find like a continuous flow of all the files to which the ai has made changes to as you can see a sidebar component a header component so all of these are like files that the ai has created and now the ai is done building the project and pretty much everything is good to go i believe so walk through and this time around i'll click on this button right here to open the browser interface local host 3000 so this right here is our landing page and now if i go to the slash dashboard directory and hit enter hmm, all right all right that's good so this right here is the dashboard that the ai has created this chart element is good we have dark mode a couple of cards in here okay pie charts recent transactions okay all of these are not active yet but this right here is the dashboard and it looks reasonably good right okay i'm impressed and okay so that part is done maybe i can try to open the image converter it is now okay so it actually found some errors during the build process one steps requires input let's see andy gravity would like to use the browser to preview the same okay i can click on setup and i can click on install extension so basically what it means is that andy gravity will be able to control this particular instance that is the browser instance it can okay seems like i need to log in okay there you go as you can see we have this blue border uh, all around the page and it means that andy gravity itself is going to test your website so it will go ahead and take a screenshot try to click around and feed all of that into the ai back okay there you go let's see it's still thinking okay so this right here is the image converter it has created maybe i can drop our image so here i have selected an image let's say webp convert converting okay download image all right so pretty much everything works all right so that part is also complete so the ai within andy gravity is capable enough to spin up a new browser instance load the app take screenshots and do actions on behalf of you and then feed it back and the ai can reiterate and work on the same so that's also one more cool feature so yeah there you go here we have almost all the features that we asked for implemented and yeah i did not get early access or anything i just started using it yesterday and i thought i'll make a video about it and still this is like a preliminary let's say exploration and i still believe we have a lot to explore in this one and if you want to open the editor interface i can click on this open editor and there you go we have pretty much everything covered i believe and yeah that's the overall flow so basically google just went ahead and launched a new id similar to cursor and it's called andy gravity and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one